Yo, what is everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool clone um, stretch effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So this is what the effect looks like. I saw this effect in an After Effects tutorial, and I wanted to kind of create it in Final Cut Pro 10, or at least replicate as best as I can um, in Final Cut Pro 10. So if you actually saw that video um, in After Effects, and you don't have After Effects, you only have Final Cut Pro 10. Well, actually, you can create also in Final Cut Pro 10. Now, yes, it's not going to be as good as the one in After Effects because After Effects has some tools that I don't have access to, like um, rotoscoping and the actual effect that makes like, the stretch effect. I can't, I can't remember what that, what that effect is called. But you can get a pretty cool close replica in Final Cut Pro 10. So what I'm going to do, going to do in this video, this video is not even going to be like a step-by-step -step tutorial because that would take four or five hours. I want to do more of just kind of a breakdown right here. So what I have right here is a moderate motion blur just to help make the draw mask look a lot better. Now this clip right here is um, a draw mask right here. So what you can see right here, here is the draw mask um, right there. So that video has a draw mask. This one, the original video, has absolutely nothing. This is just a normal video of, uh, this, is, this is like the original video as you can see it's the original clip so you're obviously going to start with some sort of clip and then basically you're creating like three or four different copies so inside this compound clip right here go ahead and open this compound clip up right here you also have a draw mask right here and then on this one you also have a draw mask right here but you also have the scrape effect right here so you can see right here we'll turn it off and there you go right here so how do you actually go about creating this effect well because this person is moving you actually have to keyframe a draw mask right here so if I actually went ahead and just disabled this compound clip and I disabled this bottom clip right here what you're basically doing is you're just keyframing a draw mask now yes this does take time this takes four five six hours however long it takes you but as you can see right there this is what the video looks like right here as you can see the draw mask is key from now it's obviously not going to be perfect because you don't have rotoscoping and it takes a lot longer to get it closer but what you're just doing is you're going over to the effects panel right here I'll go ahead and and just re-enable these clips right here but what you're going to do is you're going to go to the effects panel right here go to mask you're going to apply a draw mask right here onto this clip right here now obviously you wouldn't have these, this compound clip yet but you're going to take this clip this original clip create a comp uh, copy take this clip apply a draw mask onto it and then what you're going to do is you're going to keyframe the position, you're going to keyframe the rotation, you're going to keyframe the scale, and you're going to keyframe the control points. And then what you're just going to do after that is I'll zoom in a little bit right here, is what you're just going to do is you're going to go frame by frame. So let's go as you can see right here. You're going to go frame by frame. What you're just doing is you're literally just going frame by frame and you're just continuing to keep on moving the draw mask to make sure the person you can see right here. Watch, you see the draw mask? The draw mask is constantly moving right here. Now, of course, it's not perfect, but this is what you're basically doing. You're just basically keyframing the draw mask and making sure it fits around the entire person throughout the entire video. So, yes, it does take a lot of time to keyframe the entire draw mask, but you want to make sure the draw mask is around the person the entire time. I increased the fall off. I also put the feathering to negative eight. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take this key, you're going to take this keyframe draw mask and you're going to create two, three, four copies, however many as you want. Then you want to make sure you have this draw mask on top or else it's not going to work. And then what you're going to do is you're going to create three copies below it. So the copies are going to be in between the original clip and the draw mask um, right here. And here are the copies. The copies is this clip right here and then the stretch right here. So let's open the compound clip right here. Click on this clip right here. You have this, it's the same clip, both of these are the same clips with the tracking draw mask key from the draw mask. So you apply the same draw mask. And what you're just going to do is you're going to the top clip, you're going to change the position to 100. The bottom clip, I changed the position to 200. And then what I did was, again, it's the same thing as you can see right here. The draw mask is keyframed um, right there. Then what you're going to do is this bottom clip right here, the bottom clip, not this top, but the one that 
change the position to 200, you're going to apply this scrape effect right here. Now I change the amount to 100 and I change the rotation to 280. Now you could also actually keyframe um, this scrape effect right here if you want. So let's just type in scrape right here and this is what the effect looks like um, right there. And that's honestly pretty much how you um, create the effect. Now keep in mind this is going to take four or five hours to actually create the effect because again you have to keyframe this entire draw mask. You have to make sure every single frame the draw mask is covering the person. And the only way you do that right here is you have to make sure the position, rotation, scale, control points, everything has to be keyframed because you're moving the draw mask with the video. Pretty much how you do it. So this is the draw mask right here. Here is the original clip, and then the middle clip has the clone right here, and also the scrape effect right here. And all you have to do to kind of create a clone is just move the position right here. Now you also want motion blur right here. So I'll go ahead and play the effect with the motion blur right here. So watch the watch um, Patrick Mahomes watch the draw mask right here. Yeah, obviously, it's not close to perfect, but it's pretty good. Now let's disable the draw, uh, disable the motion blur right here. And watch the video right here. It's a thousand times, it's not gonna say a thousand times, but, but it's like a hundred times worse right here. The edges are a lot less are a lot more rough. So that's why you need to add some sort of motion blur to help make the draw mask look a lot better. Now, of course, if you've like after effects, you could use rotoscoping, which of course would be a lot better, but that's about the best you're gonna do in Final Cut. And of course, you can take four or five more hours to go through and correct every single mistake in your draw mask right here. But this is just like an example and tutorial, but this is like a professional work. You'd spend a lot more time um, on, the key, on the draw mask right here. But that's pretty much how you create this really cool clone stretch effect right here. Again, if you saw the After Effects tutorial and you don't have After Effects and you Final Cut, now you know how to create the effect in Final Cut Pro 10. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. I also have a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 140 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See you in the next one. Peace.